I'm Phyllis Lamper, original board member of the Convention Center. I've lived in Seattle all my life, and is a, I'm a lover of art. The Washington State Convention Center is a proud pioneer of strategies that enrich both the local economy and the daily life of people in the community. At the time of construction, it was an innovative new vision for what a large venue exhibition center could be. So let's start at the beginning. The legislation was passed in 1980 that called for the construction of a convention center in Seattle. The best site was over the freeway, close to hotels, because you look for enrichment opportunities for tourists when they come here. The surrounding art community was a real plus. From the beginning, I was insistent that we have an art component in this building. I believe that this was a real opportunity to extend both art appreciation and art education and art opportunity in another central location in Seattle. The first thing we did was set up a, an art advisory committee. They were curators, they were managers of uh, collections, they were representative of the three commissions, city, county, and state, and many private collectors. So we had the option of setting up right at the outset a committee of about 10 of the best informed art critics and operatives in the city. And they were with me chuck a block every step of the way. They participated in everything. Grant funds were obtained for hiring four artists to develop artworks that could be built into the project. Buster Simpson, David Mahler, Jenny Holzer, and Jackie Ferrara. So all those things were commissioned in advance and we knew that they were going to be incorporated into the building. Our big break came after the, our private partner went bankrupt. His part was to build the several layers of shops along the escalator. We replaced the shops with meeting rooms. As soon as we looked at what was left in those spaces after the shops had gone, was a nice corridor on the other side of the escalators. We took a look at that and said, oh my gosh, that's an art gallery. This was a perfect opportunity. And so as we worked on the design of this facility, opportunity for art was parallel with the opportunity to create an attractive convention center. The center quickly became known as a place of distinction to display artwork. Its expansive areas able to accommodate even the largest works. Over the years, donations and loans have included works by Guy Anderson, Jacob Lawrence, Alfredo Araguin, Richard Gilkey, Doris Chase, and Kenneth Callahan. I love Callahan's red horses. It's a beautiful red horse. It's about 30 feet across. We have a rotating gallery, and it rotates every 90 days. It's a selective process. It connects us with the community. You know, when, when you have four rotating exhibits a year and you have 100 people displaying for a three-month period, that, you know, circulates to the community. It's a place where art associations can offer their members as an exhibit space for their works. In 1997, Ms. Lamphere spearheaded the establishment of the Convention Center's Nonprofit Art Foundation as a vehicle for accepting donations of artworks and other assets in support of the art program. Well, there are several reasons for people to think about contributing to this art collection. One is pride. They like to be identified with art in public places. There's a real draw because it's a credit to your reputation. And that's a 
critical credit to the Convention Center to provide that public art gallery for the whole community to enjoy. And they'll say, wow, and they can get in and go right through and see a beautiful Tom Wilson on the fourth floor. So it's around, all around them. The tremendous value that has been represented here, both in terms of the art has been contributed, the people who have been involved, all the art associations, all the museums, all the art collectors. We are building a new building, and it's huge. And part of my swan song is I trust that the same feeling there will be what we developed here. This is a very warm place, a very comfortable place, and a very significant place. You can't miss the art when you go through this place. You gotta go through it. And as you do, you go through the art. That's wonderful. There's always a story in art if you really look for it. You have to be able to look at it. You get something out of it each time. And I'm not a great connoisseur. Uh, I'm a lover of art. And I think that's different. So I can see something in any painting or any sculpture for that matter. And in the darkest days, you know, you look at a beautiful piece of art and you say, wow, that's why I'm here. <laughs>